Hi, I'm Jack Barnes, President and CEO of People's United Bank. I'm here in the center of Westport, a city many cultural institutions and successful artists call home. People's United Bank is proud to support the communities where we live and work. That's why we're supporting CPTV and the many Connecticut cultural treasures they will be featuring over the coming months. Look for stories each week featuring cultural treasures in your neighborhood. From a distance, it's easy to fall for the good speeds, postcard good looks, and that storybook presence on the Connecticut River. But once you get closer, the real magic of the good speed, it's busting out all over. This is a factory for musicals. I mean, factory sounds not very creative. But the truth is, we create and build in a way that grabs the imagination and the hearts and the minds of theater goers. As the state's hottest ticket for song and dance, Good Speed Musicals isn't afraid to flaunt its showmanship, musical storytelling, and triple threat talents. Celebrating 50 years, it's long since found the formula for connecting the artistry of American musicals to generations of Connecticut theater goers. Got no silver, got no gold. What I got can't be bought or sold. And the process always begins with legendary executive producer Michael Price. We put together music and dance and book and lyrics and, and story. It's a very special blend of a theatrical performance that is unique to America. Gone is the sense of enterprise. Oh, Lord, me. Originally built in 1876 by shipping and banking magnate William Goodspeed, this all-purpose theater, general store, and steamboat port was for a time demoted to a state storage facility before being resurrected in 1963 as an aspiring summer stage. And I just, I just started getting in my mind that this was this weird, magical castle. And then somewhere you walk up a little set of stairs and then you open a door and then there's this gorgeous theater. Since, the Opera House has evolved into Goodspeed musicals a community of over 300 artists and staff on a 39-building campus in East Haddam and Chester, where the Norma Terrace Theater has provided a second stage since 1984. In the world of musical theater, it takes hundreds of hours to design, build, and rehearse a production. But in order to realize all of it together, well, that takes a collaborative community. I just think that if the edge that's next to the wall comes closer to that tone. For scenic designer Adrian Jones, the good speed is worth the trek from LA, and it's become a creative home away from home. I've had the best time working with these guys. They understand art history, they understand architecture, they understand art. Whatever level of detail I hand over, they understand exactly where I'm going. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. All combined, this year-round class act organization mounts six productions each season and it's produced 65 world premieres, transferring 19 of them to Broadway, including landmark originals like Annie, Man of La Mancha, and Shenandoah, making it the first regional theater to earn two special Tony Awards. It's not a job, it's a passion. And I think if you talk about the community of Goodspeed, it's because there is passion amongst our staff. 
and amongst our patrons. Step by step, stitch by stitch, and song after song, that's how the Goodspeed undoubtedly plans to celebrate its 50th anniversary. When I was a stage manager, I used to knock on dressing room doors at five minutes to curtain and say, it's magic time. And that's what we need to give our audiences. We have to give them a magic time in the theater. Funding provided by CPTV, the State of Connecticut, Melinda and Paul Sullivan, Goodspeed Musicals, and People's United Bank, what know-how can do.